Welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electrical Closet. Today we'll be talking about the Odroid C1 Plus. Also works for the C1 with the infrared receiver and the IR remote from Hard Kernel along with Android. So what we'll be doing today is showing you how you can control Android and different applications using just the remote control. Okay, so there's Android. Now if we move the arrow button, you'll see that we can switch screens. Actually, I'm not even pointing it at the Odroid right now. So it's, it's bouncing around the room and uh, still picking up the signal, so that's good. Now if, uh, as you see there, the apps, if I go away from it, okay, now the apps icon is Highlight it, if I click OK, it will bring up the Choose Some Apps, which I have not yet done. And I'm also not connected to the internet. So, this is the back button. It looks like an end web browser is taking me to bookmarks. Then we have the home button. The home button there takes me back to the home screen. This turns on and off the, the speakers, or the, the audio, and then you can use the plus and minus buttons to increase or decrease the volume. And also you can get context menus with the menu button, and then use the up and down arrows to select options, and then click OK when you're on the right option, or the back button. Okay, so let's go ahead and start an application like Kodi. Now I'm going to have to use the mouse here because I haven't connected to this Android session yet. Okay. So the first time you do that, you'll have to click it with the mouse, but after that you can use the remote to move up, down, and around the icons. And then click OK to launch. And again, the first time you run Kodi, you will be given a requester that you'll have to answer with the mouse. But that should only be the first time. Okay. So now if I use the arrow keys, it moves me through the different options. And I can move back forwards, bring up the confluence view options using the arrow keys. So the right arrow key hides and unhides confluence. You can use up and down arrow keys to interact with that. Okay, now if we want to go back in Kodi, we just use the back button. And to play your music, you click there, select your files. I don't believe I have any music. Nope, it's empty. Okay. But as you can see, it's real easy to navigate through. And if you look where I've got the remote pointing, it's nowhere near the C1. It's pointing actually up here somewhere. So it's still picking it up just fine. All right, so back again. Does nothing, but if we click the home button, should take us back to the home screen, which it does. Now let's go back to the browser. Okay, now as you see, the on screen keyboard isn't coming up, and I don't know if it would do us much good if it did, but let's see what we would have to do to get the on screen keyboard up. So normally, the Odroids in Android expect there to be a hardware keyboard, like this one, uh, connected to it. But because we're going to be using the remote, we don't want to use a hardware keyboard, we want to use a software keyboard. So what we'll do is we'll go to settings, and then we will go to language and input, and we'll look for the keyboard in input section here. And in the default, if you click on that, 
and turn hardware off. Now you'll see if we go to browser we get an on-screen keyboard where we weren't getting it before. And you can hide the keyboard using that button there. Okay, so now let's try doing it with the mouse, with the uh, remote and see if anything happens. And click on it. So even though we can move around in there, it does not look like we can type on the on-screen keyboard. Okay. Let's try one other thing. Let's try going to let's try going back to the browser. And we'll click the menu button and see if anything happens. Well I don't see anything here that will really help us with the um, with being able to type in there. So, um, yeah, you won't be able to browse, you probably won't be able to type emails using just this remote. Uh, that would be kind of tedious anyway. In that case, I would recommend something more like the uh, Ameridroid mini keyboard with trackpad, which is very handy for moving around the mouse, and it's got the full keyboard. So, uh, yeah, that'll be a really handy thing to use if you're going to be doing uh, typing. But if you're just going to be navigating around and selecting your playlist and things like that, this remote, very inexpensive remote, requires uh, two AAA batteries. It is a very good choice to control your Odroid C1 or C1 Plus on Android. All right, have a great day. Bye.